Okay, try to record this video for like the third time, keep getting the demo effect. I'm getting back to energy research after about 10 years. Finally got my oscilloscope and function generator and dug out all my old boxes of electronic stuff. And today's experiment is called the Mr. Previt experiment. It is something I found on a forum called AboveUnity.com. And I will put links in the description to the original video uh, and to the forum, etc. Et so the idea here is of a basic circuit here, function generator, sign signal going into uh, two coils that are wound on the same core in bucking fashion and they are mismatched. The first one, smaller one is seven turns, larger one is eleven turns and we have 0 0.1 ohm resistors placed at the input current and then one for each output of the coil so that we can compare. And the idea is at a certain frequency what you're going to see is the the bigger coil, uh, which we'll see in the blue trace, it will reverse current and add to the current of the input, which will show as a rise in current or an amplification of current in the smaller coil, which is the green trace, which we'll see on the scope. So here's my circuit. My 0 0.1 ohm resistors are uh, just steel wire. Uh, the resistors that a, a friend of mine had made for me, so they are not precision. We will see some messed up calculations a little bit, but it's close enough to at least show the uh, show the effect here. So let's tilt this up to the scope, and we can see here now at 50 hertz, everything is in phase, and more or less adding up. Uh, on the input I'm actually showing a difference between channel 1 and channel 2 so CRMS of around 60 and uh, on the on the two outputs of the coils uh, roughly 70 so there's a little bad math in there because of the resistors but uh, you kinda get the point uh, the two currents are adding up to the in input that's what I'm saying so anyways um, as you go up in frequency you start to see uh, the blue trace, which is the big coil, um, will shift out of phase and it will eventually get 180 degrees out of phase. So, for example, go to 1 kilohertz. And that's pretty much there. As you can see, it's out of phase now, but 2 kilohertz is where I like to put it. That's a little closer. So now you see the input and the smaller coil are now in phase. Uh, the larger coil, the blue, is out of phase, so adding to the input current. Uh, input current of 22 milliamps uh, with an addition of 25 milliamps or so to get uh, on an amplified current on the uh, small coil, which is the green trace here at 53 milliamps. And that is the effect. Thank you.